Welcome to the MaxView Monitor demonstration. In this video we're going to show you the utilities that can help manage your IBM I systems. Here we're looking at a two system configuration, a prod and a backup. We can quickly see disk pool and CPU information for both systems. Everything looks okay at the moment, everything's in white. So let's start by refreshing our data. We can see the CPU dials change and the ASP2 pool on the prod system has gone into red. Critical disk usage, 94%. We can drill down into that system and see the same information here. If we, if we then go and clean up the system and refresh, ASP pool will return to normal. Let's continue to refresh our data. We can see the CPU now goes to 95% and into a red status. We can continue to monitor our systems, keep an eye on what's going on. At this screen, we can also drill down into a work system status screen, very similar to the green screen you're used to. We can see the pools and the error rates. We can refresh the data. We also have access to a work active job screen, which shows you the subsystems and the jobs running and their statuses. We have the IBMI summary page, where we have basic information of, of system name, OS level, and PTF information. Let's show you the settings. Here in settings, we set up the alert levels that you're going to receive while monitoring your systems. So let's put the ASP level down to 30, update it, return to our system screen. And here we can see all our ASPs are now in critical disk usage. Let's return to the settings, push that back up to 85 this time. And all our disk pools are back to normal. Another monitoring tool is you can monitor how many batch jobs are active on your system. So here we say, let's lower that to 10. Back to our system summary screen, and we can see our batch jobs are now in red. There are 15. You can also see how many users are signed on to your system, if there are any batch jobs in message weight. And that is the basic information you can get from MaxView Monitor. Thank you very much.